the mud in, in losers. But no, I was just outside of top eight. You know, I just needed one more to win. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. I lost to MOV in the follow up uh, set uh, to 2 0, right? Word. But the thing okay. is, while I was playing, uh, I was having fun, like making gestures. Huarong has this uh, move, Hunting Hawk, right? Where he basically, while he's midair, he does like several rapid kicks, the same way you've seen like Chun Li do. Uh, what is it? Her air lightning legs, right? But he just like yeah. stalls in the air and just does multiple kicks and bounces you off the wall. So like I put my hands up in like a snake stance while he was doing that animation, and just went like. <laughs> <laughs> and I okay. remember MOV saw that, right? He saw that and was like, he looked at me kind of funny, and then he just started laughing. <laughs> and it's like, man, he just starts laughing, and I'm just, he's into it. And then he starts making gestures back, right? He's doing the same shit. And even though I wound up losing by what was actually just human error, I didn't cancel something I should have, you know? Uh, and as a result, because that move is punishable on hit, if you don't cancel it, he hit me back and I died, you know? Okay. And it, it sucked, because on the one hand, I did want to win, but at the same time, it was like, I walked away from that feeling like, this person can't speak English that well. And I made a real connection with him by having fun playing fighting games, even in such a high stakes environment, you know? That made me feel like I could sit down with anyone. And so long as I'm playing fighting games, they are my friend, you know? Right, like a, a real, a real human, human connection. Hey, yeah, human experience. Right, absolutely. Hundred percent, bro. The real human experience, bro. That's crazy. No, um, I, I do want to say what's crazy I, I, is I you having these stories. Oh yeah, please. I, I want to cap off the story. So after the match, right? And like you have to understand, I'm dressed in like my full armor set and everything. This is about the year I started really like wearing that. That became like my brand identity. If you see me at events, okay. I'm always wearing like the full armor. You know. And people love that. People love that I basically dress up to go play fighting games. I, I go to war, you know? And uh, so I'm dressed that way. And I tell him, uh, he looks at me and he says, what's your name? And I'm like, well, he spoke English. Like that blew my mind, you know? Sure. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, oh, I'm 40% flash kick. And I show him my shirt. It's got my symbol on it and everything. Like, you uh -huh. know, I'm representing my brand basically and everything. And he of looks course. at me and he, says, and he says, without fail, like, I remember you. And I'm like, something about hearing that, right? From someone who beat me, I left that much of an impression on someone I lost to. And it, it kind of, it told me, you know, uh, it was at that moment when I realized, oh, we reported the wrong game. It's whatever. Oh, no. It's fine. It'll we can have it fixed in post. It should be 2-0. Well, but um I can just start searching the next match as soon as this is confirmed. There we go. Yeah, anyway, just keep going. Yeah, mm. so you we have four minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably just gonna get this next one in unless I just